Arranged and produced by Cake. Now I've been staring at Cake all day and I'm looking at Cake saying, oh, there's a K and an E, and an E is a V, and an A is a 1, which is like an I, and a C and a K is like a 14, which is like an N. But anyways, these are the people that make up Cake. <laughs> Plus special gre guest, Greg Vincent on She'll Come Back to Me. So there's one damn thing that I find oddly familiar about each and every one of these songs. They're very heavily based on, like, a woman, okay? The, there's a theme. There's always, like, a woman in every song that he's, like, singing about, okay? You know? Sad songs and waltzes. So like, while listening to this album, you know, I have to pick a song because I have another epiphany that I need to like, you know, make music happen for, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Fly Me to the Last Luminary, Frank Sinatra. So I'm gonna go with track one, you know, we did second one and first one. Next one's obviously backwards and... But I was actually listening to, uh, I think She'll Come Back to Me. Okay, I was talking with my buddy on the thing, and uh, I wrote down a Star Wars reference. Reference, right here, A New Hope. He's saying like, you know, she'll come back to me, and it's like, you know, tear jerking, and I was like pretending to stab myself in the heart, you know, like in like pain and agony, and then I ripped it in half. I know that's a new hope, but it could be an M, you know? You're supposed to pronounce your N's as M's. Anyways, if that's an A, and that's an H, and that N is an M, it kind of jives with whatever the fuck it is that I did over here, which none of you understand except, you know, very few people in my universe right now. That's a big part of the code. Beyond the suns that guard the roof, beyond your flowers of flaming truth, beyond your latest ad campaigns. Very synchronistic, because an, an H could just very well be an L from a different point of view. You know? Like a different point of view. An old man sits Looking at that L, which could be an H, which is, you know, obviously she would be the he. But that's just, that's one thing I found interesting. So, like, you know, a new hope. Yeah. That nonsense. He says that he'll be rich someday. We know of an ancient radiation that haunts this member constellation. But I took said nonsense, and I, I found something. I found something rather peculiar, okay? Like, riveting stuff here, guys. Alright, why <laughs> am I showing you this? Quite simply. A 13 squared is essentially 13 times 13, which is 169. We know of an ancient radiation that haunts this member constellations, a faintly glimmering radio station. Oh, wait a second. Let me help you. 
11 plus 55 is 66. 66 plus 100 is 166. You have three selves. 166 plus 3 is 169. 13 squared, you know, not 13 times 2, because 13 times 2 is 26. And there's, all, there's an awful lot of 26 code out there enough, you know, already. So we've already done the big plus, okay? Now it's time to do the X. We're gonna multiply, we're gonna talk about X. Okay, I've been watching a lot of Sesame Street YouTube videos about the letter X and all these other letters, and they're, like, you know, I understand the people that make Sesame Street or Mason's guy, they know about the story of creation and they laugh at you, Cowboy X. Well, I'll just be Cowboy O from now on, I guess. So that'd be fine, right? The people of Sniddler's Gulch weren't very bright. You know, I just, you know, it's only the, the column that, you know, 3.14 quadrants, point one, five, nine, and pi. It looks like a stand, a Chinese lamp. Twenty two minus point oh one is twenty one point nine nine. Tack on a one, one, three. 21.99113 divided by 7 is 3.14159, okay? Now that's all pretty interesting. Okay, hey, about a 649 ticket, maybe I'll win. The draw's tomorrow. I hope I win. I really do. talk about X so much, okay? Cowboy X. Cowboy X. Now, I see the X as these three and these five. Stick shifts and safety belts. Bucket seats have all got to go when we're driving. In the car, it makes my baby seem so far. 3553, will you pick, okay? We got a 10, we got a 15, we got a 16, we got a 17, because this counts as a 1 because it's part of a 1. So that's 17, nothing, 17 and 7 is 24. I need you here with me, not way over in a bucket seat. I need you to be here with me, not way over in a bucket seat. Okay, we already counted for the 5. Now, it looks like an X. But when we're driving in my Malibu, it's easy to get right next to you. I say, baby, scoot over, please. And then she's right there next to me. If you take off the front, the top row, okay? And you take a look at it from this point of view, okay? Your X is now going to be like the roof of the house. So first of all, this is going to be shorter than this, okay? So it's like your whole thing is like on a tilt, on an angle. Going into the page. Now we're talking about angles going into the page, okay? We only have a depth of like two, but like a width of five. So your X now is going to be like this part of the C. And then this would be the back part that you don't see. It's like on the other side from where you're viewing. 
Okay, so you're going to see this seven, you're going to see these guys, but you're not going to see the other seven on the back, which counts as a nothing because you can't see it, making X still the 24th letter of our alphabet. X is Kronos, the ruler and keeper of what? You got it, guy. Time. Time is not on my side. Time is in the middle. Uh, time is probably immutable. Stick shifts and safety belts. Bucket seats have all got to go when we're driving in the car. Makes my baby seem so fine. Maybe we can slow it down and speed it up. Okay. I also find it very interesting that this line up here, okay, 169, is like a circled 69, which means what? What does that mean? Well, at the end of the day, what do we have? What have we learned? That perhaps all of that shit, you know, the top half, not including you know, this row of the X, of the plus, it's like a big old six, like circled 69 at the end of the day. So, I hope that was helpful, you know? And God we trust. Go America. <laughs>